Welcome back, my fellow duplicants, to the Ultimate Automation Challenge. Now, in my last video, we upped the amount of oxygen I can produce by putting more electrolyzers into my base. And as you can see, I have lots of oxygen. A lot of it is stored up and, you know, just ready to be used and probably turned into liquid oxygen. However, I have played a several cycles between that video and this one, just kind of getting some other things up and running. And that's mostly because when you're recording, I'm trying to focus on one single project rather than bounce all over the place. But in order to really make a lot of progress, you kind of have to do multiple things at the same time. So one of the things that I've been working on here is digging out this area up here. And that's going to be where I'm going to build my rocket system. And that will, um, will go and explore space. So that'll be pretty cool. But I have to dig this out and there's just boatloads of regolith in here and everything. So that's one of the tasks my duplicates have been have been working on. The other thing is also just kind of reworking some of the pipes, trying to get some cooling. This is no longer quite as cool as it used to be. I'm trying to push a little bit more cooling over here just so I can make use of these comfy beds and bring in more duplicates because I'm going to need more, especially if a lot of them are out there in space waiting to come back. I have almost too much water over here this uh, this uh steam vent has just been producing lots and lots of water you can see it's almost flooded at this point and i've pumped about as much of it as i can into the tanks down here so that's ready to go and be used up so i really don't have a shortage of just about any resource that i need right now one of the other big projects that i've been working on here is a new automated storage retrieval system so uh, this was my last one right here, a very small prototype, and I've seen some other pictures and examples that you guys have, have brought into with the comments, and that's what I'm doing. I'm basically scaling up this, the, the same method that I was using to sort my materials here to a much larger um, setup down here. So how this is going to work, you're going to, to have a receptacle over here on the right, and that will then sort out, and then as the priorities are going to work from right to left, uh, low to high, the material will pretty much just move from one side to the other and then backfill based on how much I have. Over here on the left is there's a whole bunch of conveyor loaders and that loaders will then go up to an area up here that also or or over here on the left that'll be accessible via a transit access tube or just the base itself so the duplicates can come and pick up whatever they need to have right there. It's just a giant vending machine is essentially what I'm building. So that's been coming along quite well. I've also relocated one of the cooling loops that I had up here. That was one of the very first cooling loops I had. I just needed to reposition it down here so that it was a little bit more stable and I can control the environment a little bit more. So that is working to keep some of my farms nice and cool. Although, as you can see, the body temperature is suddenly a little bit too high. So, All right, so one thing I don't have a huge amount of right now is oil. I mean, I do have some right there. I was able to dig it out and I've got enough for now, but I have mostly sucked up a lot of kind of the free oil that was just floating around. I mean, I take that back. There's a ton more over here. <laughs> um, so maybe I don't need to focus on tapping into an oil reservoir currently, but it might be a good idea. I was just trying to think, what could I do this episode that will be, you know, just one standalone project. That'll be good. I tell you what, I'm going to focus on this oil reservoir and tapping into that. It's, uh, it's a ways over there. All right, so there were some comments over here, and they were talking about potentially a, a problem that I could run into with this arrangement. And one of the things, I had a, a sensor over here that was detecting whether or not it was hydrogen, and then it would go up into these tanks. And that could potentially have a, a problem where the tank fills up and... and then the hydrogen goes back down here, potentially getting picked up by the pump and pumping out into the, into the base. Uh, that could possibly happen. However, my plan was actually to move this hydrogen somewhere else and use it. Um, this is just kind of a backup right now. This, is, this arrangement is still self-powering, even if you just use a normal gas filter, even if it isn't quite as efficient. This is a, a better way of doing it just because it's safer, right? So now even if the gas is backed up like you see right now, you know, I can't really pump oxygen out of this thing. Uh, the electrolyzers will just overpressurize and it stops running. Now there were a lot of other comments uh, about arrangements of electrolyzers and the efficiency thing. And even though I did give numbers in the last test, 
uh, it's not an experiment video, right? So you can change the pressures here and you can also add pumps and all that stuff. And I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole again of different ways to set up electrolyzers. There are some cool ones. Half of them were lost to the YouTube comment vacuum, unfortunately, so sorry. I wasn't able to find all of them. I did notice that they were there. But there's different arrangements that people are, are working on right here. I think it would be fun to have an electrolyzer shootout again at some point here with bigger setups. But right now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tackle that. We got we got space to conquer, not the electrolyzer again. So moving on. What am I going to do this episode? I'm not gonna this is not going to finish anytime soon. Hmm. This is working just fine up here, although it's getting blasted by meteorites. I need Liam back. Dude, too much regolith. Okay, so there are some other comments about this, uh, the way I was filling these exosuits. And you know what? They're all full. So, I don't think you need to be uh, all that fancy when it comes to filling these up. It does fill up this one before it fills up other ones, and you might want to balance that out. But you know what? If you have a constant supply of oxygen like this, it doesn't really seem to matter. I think it's easy to overthink stuff like that. All right, well, let's focus on this oil reservoir just because I want to have at least, I want to have somewhat of a focused episode here. I, I, I was just thinking for like five minutes, what, what am I going to do this one? Um, sorry, everything is just like, it's going to take a long time to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the priority on all of this so I can get that built. All right, so I have a lot of duplicates that are making their way all the way over here. It'd be really nice if they didn't have to run the entire way. Especially since you're going to have to go down there to empty the the valve. Nope, I don't have enough plastic. Crap, my conveyor's broken. What's up with that? There we go. Just didn't have the priority set right on that. Okay, now tapping into an oil reservoir, it's not really that hard. Especially now that we have the higher temperature stuff. We will get natural gas out of this. So there's, I mean, there's not much to this. Um, now that you have the high temperature pumps, it's just like, it's going to be quite easy. You know what? I was thinking about if I just went right to a power thing, right? Power generator. What happens if you make a natural gas generator out of steel and its natural temperature is hot enough to where the the water that's coming out is steam to begin with. Hmm. I knew I'd come across an idea. So I'm just going to dig all of this up. There's a lot of nice diamond there and everything. Oh, and this will be useful because I have something like a molten slickster right here. I can go ahead and feed that the carbon dioxide that would be produced by that generator down here. Okay, so one of the other things I was doing here that I, I didn't mention is that instead of using high pressure gas vents, I'm just using gas vents. Uh, since a lot of my duplicates are running around inside of exosuits, they're really not consuming a lot of the oxygen inside the base. So I really don't need to pump any in, into here. Unless, of course, it gets low enough to, to add some more to it. But you're right, there's a, a good chance of some serious ear popping going on around here. Some areas are nearly up to three kilograms. You know what, I'm just gonna turn this off. Try to re-enable that building. Just to see if I can suck some of this in and put it in the suits. Nicola, buddy! <sighs> Trying to pull a Liam, man. Come on, get out of there. He's safe, he made it out. Oh, where'd Liam go? <laughs> He's covered in regolith. Oh, here's another thing that I was doing. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Um, I was digging out the area around the gold volcano so that I can cool this down while gold is coming out of it and, and get some of the resources that it will give to me. The thing is, I have a, a fair bit of gold amalgam around, so it's not, not hugely valuable to me right now. But it is something I want to do. Do I have tanks of polluted water yet? That was one thing I was going to connect right here. Cycle 1000! Hey, finally made it here. Once again, what is up with the shipping? <laughs> what? 
Why, why do you have this suit in you? Oh, darn it. Uh, uh, how do you get the suit out of... <laughs> How'd that even get in there? All right, here we go. Aha! And now that should just back up. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. All right, there we go. Now we got some construction going on down here. Is the shipping and everything working? Ah, plastic, iron, gold. Hello. Yeah, so this is working perfect now. See a little bit comes in. Boom. There goes some hydrogen. Hey, Max. You can stop trying to deconstruct that. <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. Wow, look at how hot that is. Straight to petroleum, huh? Sour gas, huh? Now, where did sour gas come from? Like, what was so hot down here that it... I mean, magma's way over here, and this is surrounded by abyssalite. See, now the problem I have down here is that I have power, but that power is... I mean, this wire is not very good for what it's trying to do. Uh, and it, it is going to constantly have the problem where it is exploding if I add yet another pump to it. And the cost of bringing a 2 kilowatt wire all the way down here. Well, if I can get a dupe down here, then I can just refine some of that into petroleum and use some of that petroleum to run uh, a generator and just take care of the power that way. It's just such a remote area. It doesn't have to power much. It's just kind of a, a pump, really. Um, so it needs water. And it's also going to put out oil. Although I think I'll just put out petroleum. So I think I might just refine it down here. And hopefully, uh, yes, the transit system has worked. So I can go ahead and just shorten the amount of time it takes to get all the way down here. See, like, this is where a blueprint would be great, because then I could just about copy this and paste it right down there and then just have my dupes make it. But, nope. So I'm going to have to redesign it. There's just so many of them down there. We got six dupes down there. No, oh, some of them are climbing. Yay, you got a tube access right there, people. Oh, no, they're just going to pick up materials. Ha-ha! Yes! Everything is shipped. And it's been sorted by the, the arm there. Finally. That has actually been backed up for a long time. Okay, let's get rid of this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a refiner there. And next to that, liquid reservoir. A couple of them. So the refinery will go here. Hmm. <laughs> Something like that. The uh, thing about that generator is that it definitely puts out polluted water just right there. And I was pumping it away. Where'd you go? Meep! Meep, you're stuck, buddy! Oh, anybody? Buddy, I think you're going to have to uh, make your own way out here. So, I'm going to need a spot for the generator to... Go ahead and, and give off a little bit of polluted water. So that petroleum generator, even though I can't click on it right now, because that's annoying, be able to place that right here. And then beneath that, I'll pump it away, because that's where my water pump is going to be. Now, I need a transit tube access point, so I can make my way here. That's going to be a good spot for it. I don't know why this is mesh tile. Just It is what it is. Oh, the first time I have insufficient oxygen generation show up in a long, long time. <laughs> Guess I only needed 80 kilograms of oxygen. Whew. Finally, starting to lower the pressure slightly. It's down to 2.6 kilograms in the base. What do we got for liquids, 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 liquids? Yes. So polluted water has made its way over there. Good. Uh-oh. They're stuck. Here you go. So, what else am I going to need down here? A bunch of batteries. Gosh, like everything. Probably be a good idea to have a bunch of tanks for crude oil. Just to kind of build up a nice buffer of that. 
<laughs> There's a lot. Now. Every construction program project I got going on here is huge. It's going to take a little while. At least I was able to dig this out. So at some point here, I'll be able to finally build a rocket. I got to do a little bit of research as far as figuring out what it takes to build a really good silo. So if you guys got some recommended builds for silos, I'd love to hear, hear about that down there in the comment section because that would help help me out. I'll be able to kind of uh, recreate one of those and put it down here so I can make good use of that. I've messed around with the silos a little bit, but usually they put out so much heat um, and the flames go past the floor. I could run a big risk of just melting my base even more than it's already melted. As you can see, it's quite toasty to begin with. <laughs> All right, this is taking a long, long time, and it's not going to finish anytime soon. So I'm going to have to leave you guys here. I've got a lot of big construction programs going on. You know, I've got this going on down here, even though it really isn't needed. So maybe I don't finish that. I was kind of hoping to have one thing that we just focused on, but that's just not where I'm at in the game. And I, I really just don't have any extra brain cells to spare right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break. We're going to knock this thing out over Thanksgiving uh, vacation. This is where I'll have a couple days off this next week, and that'll be... I can make some good progress there. And hopefully, by the end of that, we'll have a an uh, automated storage system right here up and running. I'll have a lot of petroleum and maybe even, I don't know if we'll get into liquid oxygen. We'll try to get into liquid oxygen. But if not liquid oxygen, I do have enough steam. We might be able to fire off a rocket. So let's try to make that a goal. Let's try to fire off a rocket here in the next week. <laughs> and watch me fail miserably. At any rate, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day. Um, bye. <laughs>